Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video. And I post new videos every Wednesday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. And I do that through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more. So today's video, as the title says, is going to be another unboxing for the Delilah box, which I am so excited to unbox. You guys have no idea how I'm excited. And I'm even more excited because the boxes are so pretty um i will throw a picture here of what the boxes look like for the past year but the boxes now are gorgeous and the reason why they're gorgeous is because they include lavender like florals love it so much and thus here is the box she's gorgeous i love the florals on here oh my god they're stunning like this box is everything i'm definitely keeping this box she has to keep but if you don't know what the delilah box is click the i to go to my playlist so you guys can see an unboxing for all of the boxes that i have done unboxings for and i absolutely swear by i don't think that's probably the way to say that but i stand behind the grace and delilah shop i stand behind the delilah box um i just i love everything about the company how what taylor has done um her mission and her purpose behind the ministry in a sense and i wholeheartedly would tell you guys to go out get a box for yourself for your loved ones subscribe buy one box or just check out the website i will leave the instagram website and a link directly to the grace and delilah box down below so you guys can check it out but i'm gonna jump right into this unboxing again if you want to hear all of the spiel about the company and things like that click the i to go to make my first two or three videos and you'll have that if not go to the description box down below all the information will be there as well as links and um we are going to dive in so here it is this box actually came today today is um the 9th of january as i'm making this video so it came earlier today and i didn't open this box i didn't open it so we're gonna open it together and so you guys get a first look ah, what is that so cute okay i don't know what's in here but we're gonna dive in okay so I see a bunch of things so i'm gonna take this pouch out because i see this purple highlighter and so we have this little pouch here which has like some nail stuff and things in it so of course you have a i'm gonna assume this is a gel highlighter yeah it's a mr pen gel highlighter it's the sleek acid free gel highlighter from mr pen and i've heard many things about mr pen can you guys see that i'm sorry about the lighting it's purple um I love a good purple highlighter and so how you twist this can i twist it yes so you can twist it that's not twist all the way up let's see if i can get it to go oh wow that's a lot of highlighter okay i haven't really used gel highlighters in a minute so yeah but i still think this is a great one to have in my repertoire repertoire so i'm going to definitely make some use out of this but we have a purple gel highlighter some other things in here this is a lip balm chap lip lip balm original unflavored with vitamin e lip balm so we can never have enough lip balm i know i can't i just actually lost my lip gloss that i just got from my baby sister i don't know where i put it so i have to find it um this is i believe this yep okay this is a sample of the organic pineapple cuticle oil which is amazing because i needed some cuticle oil asap um i've been using vitamin e oil but i really want it um some designated cuticle oil so this is actually great and it's made with real fruit mineral oil aloe vera argan oil vitamin e sunflower seed oil chamomile uh oat oil avocado oil and fragrance it says a little goes a long way use a cotton swab or dab on cuticles to rub in Th this is just a two milliliter sample of it um but you do get a one ounce frosted amber bottle for it for six dollars and 25 cents so i'm just gonna open this oh it's a dropper that is so cute it's a tiny dropper you guys can you see it's so freaking cute can you guys see i don't want to spill any out oh that's so cute that smells so good you definitely smell that pineapple so i'm definitely going to give this a go starting monday i will use it every day until i'm used up and if it really does help my cuticles i will definitely purchase a bottle um it's only 6.25 on the website so show you guys up close so i'm excited for that okay that 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 is exciting um, you have this hand sanitizer here. Oh, this is so cute. Just to take in your purse and you snap it, squeeze it, and it comes out. So you snap it along this line and then squeeze it out. And this is from Holonex. It's Holonex hand sanitizer. 
that is so fun especially in this day and age you need hand sanitizer for everything okay and then you also get two emery boards which i'm always in need of emery boards so we love this one is polka dots and then this one is florals so i like that that's cute okay i'm excited i'm excited let's let's keep going because i will stay on this stuff for forever let me make sure this is closed okay it's closed this is like so cute a little i don't want to say skincare but like a little beauty pouch because you have your lip product you have your nail products um you have your hand sanitizer i like that i like that a lot so we have that Next, you have your Ziploc with your little goodies. So, you have the strawberry candies. I call these <laughs> grandma church candies because if you go to church, um, the grandmas always had this or the mothers of the church always had these candies like all the time. These and peppermints are like church candies. I'm not sure what this one is. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited for that, of course. Um, I love this. This is so cute. I like this pouch. The pouches she's put, she puts in here are like always gorgeous. It's a pen. Oh, my God. It's a pen. Y'all know I love these pins, okay? Y'all know I do. I can't deny the hype that I have. I'm going to own every single pin eventually. Um, but this one is a teapot and it says tea help. And you know the funny thing is I literally just bought a new teapot. Look at she. Tea helps. And I am a tea drinker. As much as I do like coffees and lattes, I'm definitely a major tea drinker. Um, so, and it's silver. Is this red or like an orangey red? I don't know if it's like an orangey red or not, but this is cute. Just trying to see how it would look. That's cute. On like an all black shirt. Or like a white shirt. She cute. I like that. We're going to keep that out. Um. Okay. So this is a bookmark. Another one that says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31 and 6. I already have one of these that I did laminate. So I'm going to laminate this one as well and use it. I like these bookmarks. Bookmarks are like essential for anything. You can use them as tip-ins in your Bibles, um, your prayer journals or whatever. But I like them as bookmarks, of course. A few little cards. So this one says, Grace carried me here and by grace I will carry on. There's nothing on the back. So I would use this as a part of my prayer wall since I am trying to update my prayer wall. Um, because it's now a smaller space. Um, so I could probably use this for my prayer wall. That's nice. That's cute. I like that. Then I have these two cards. I'm not sure where these cards came from. But they both have scriptures on them from Romans. I'll say this one. So this one says, uh, God's wonderful grace rules giving us right standing with God and resulting in eternal life through Jesus Christ. It's Romans 5.21 on the front. I'm trying to get this to focus on here. And then on the back, it's from Henry Francis Light. It says, I need thy presence every passing hour. What but thy grace can foil the tempter's power. I hope I said that correctly. That's nice. Okay, and you have this red one, which is going to be Romans 5, 1 and 2. And it says, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. And it's red. I like that. And then on the back, we have a quote from A.W. Tozer. It says, the cross is the lightning rod of grace that short circuits God's wrath to Christ so that only the light of his love remains for believers. Beautiful. I could definitely see me sticking this on my wall as well or in my Bible. This would be a cute Bible tip in to put into Romans when I'm we study Romans. So that's nice. Um, so you have the Delilah Box 2021 20, information. I'm going to cover up the number. There it is. So these are like little pamphlets that have information written by Taylor. Um, so I'm excited for that. I like to read these. So I'm going to read that. This is what I was most excited for. So in here we have this wild the wild worthy and wicked women of the bible series one grace and delilah and i just love the effort she has put into this the work that she's put into this and i apologize if you guys end up hearing drumming my landlord's son is above me playing drums now unfortunately but yeah so like i love this so much and it goes through various women and i think each woman has two pages of notes yeah so you have herodias rachel um miriam you get some photos. I love these. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Who Hulda, excuse me. Um, I'm not sure who that is. Lois. That says Lois. I love that photo. If you have been receiving the women of the the women the women of the Bible series emails from her, then that's pretty much what this is. Yeah. I love it. And this is a total of 
31 pages so i'm excited for this i'm definitely going to use this to study when i do my woman of the word woman of the word bible study if that makes sense um then you have a prayer journal which i'm not gonna lie i was just in walmart and i was looking at a prayer journal that they had my mom ended up buying it but i put it back because i have so many blank journals and this was in the box so i'm glad and it's literally just a lined notebook so i'm excited i love the floral prints on this this is a thick piece this is thick paper like this is nice quality paper i'm not sure how pen is gonna take so we'll see and it's not even lined it's actually dotted that is crazy can you guys tell that it's dotted these are not lines they're dots that are like really really close together so that's cool it smells like a new book it smells new oh i love it um and then on the back it says grace and delilah that is amazing and then the two books for the month um so <laughs> y'all already know i got one of these books right okay so i'm already i'm already passing one of these books along to my sister um in my house but this one is the white city by grace hitchcock hitchcock Hitch, hitchcock yes hitchcock i don't know why i'm struggling with that but um this is a, actually a christian historical series that i've been meaning to read because it has different um books that all have like this black and white feel to it but they have like different pops of color so this pop of color is more of that golden color here and um they're all historical things so this one is set in chicago's world's fair in 1893 and um i'm excited it's based on true history but they've turned them into historical fiction that's based on true history if that makes sense and i know that there's a bunch more and a bunch keep coming out and i do want to read them all eventually but i'm glad to have this i think this is the first one in the series if i'm not mistaken yeah, this came out in 2019, and I think there's either three or four of these out already. Um, I'm not sure if I can find the other ones. I'll pop the covers here, um, but they're really nice, and I, I did want to read them, but I wasn't too sure. And I do have eARCs from NetValley, so I'm excited to dive into this one. Set in, okay, so on the back it says, Mysterious Disappearances Taint the Chicago's World Fair. So while attending Chicago's World Fair in 1893 winifred wilde i think that's how you say that believes she witnessed a woman being kidnapped she tries to convince her father an inspector with the chicago police to look into the reports of mysterious disappearances around the white city inspector wilde tries to dismiss her claims as exaggeration of an over overactive imagination but he eventually concedes to letting her go undercover as a secretary to the man in question if she takes her pistol for protection and detective jude thorpe for a bodyguard Will she be able to expose H.H. Holmes' illicit activities or will Winifred become his next victim? So it just sounds interesting. So I'm definitely excited to read this. It's like a mystery histor historical fiction based on true history. So I'm excited for that. Okay. And then the biblical fiction beauty is going to be a new release. New release. Okay. A new release. <laughs> to dwell among cedars by Miss Connie Lincoln said. Now I've read this. I enjoyed it. Um, I gave it four stars when I did read it. If you want to see my reading blog, KPI, it's a non spoiler re reading blog, so you can enjoy that. But um, yeah, this is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Phenomenal is not a word, it's phenomenal. <laughs> yes, I'm tired. Uh, but yes, the first book in the Covenant House duology. Um, I think they said series, but I think it's only going to be two books, and I cannot wait for the sequel to come out. The reason why I didn't care for this book is because of the romance, and there's a reason why because you know things ahead of time with the romance so as much as i swooned over the romance i kind of knew going into the romance that things weren't going to be right if that makes sense like the, the back of the book spoils everything pretty much um but it basically takes place during the um arc being stolen by the philistines you philistines yeah philistines um you get to see the portions of when dagon is a uh, strike down by the Ark of the Covenant and things like that. And this book is really beautiful. I just wasn't personally invested in the main character, which was Elia. Alora. I don't know why I said Elia. Alora. I wasn't 100% invested in Alora. I did love her brother though. And so I'm super excited for the sequel because the sequel follow her, follows her brother, Luke, which I am so excited for his book. So excited. But um, yeah, these are the two books that you get for this month. Um, the white city is a historical fiction and this one is a biblical fiction and then you also get the additional i don't I, I would i would actually call this a third book but it's not a full book it's like a booklet and it's the wild worthy and wicked woman of the bible series one so this is amazing i mean i think this box is i mean i don't have to worry about it enough i, I that wasn't the right way to say that you guys don't hate me no mind. i'm tired um and there's a lot of noise upstairs that you can hear from my neighbor so yeah but i am 
going to suggest that you guys check out the grace and delilah shop the grace and delilah box if you have not it is a phenomenal box geared towards really helping um women understand the lesser known popular unpopular women of the bible excuse me and um i just i love everything that taylor does with her ministry and how she really gets women involved in reading the word through fictional novels i think reading biblical fiction and any type of christian fiction in general that is biblically sound is amazing to do and it really helps and edifies you in a way that the bible sometimes um can miss and somebody is going to take that and probably misconstrue what i mean but i'm going to do a whole video on why i think biblical fiction is a phenomenal um thing to read and actually i'm going to link in the cards right here click the eye to go to it jenna's video jenna van maurick over at jenna van maurick channel um she does a lot of talk about biblical fiction i'm gonna try to find one of her videos all about why she likes biblical fiction and you guys can watch that video because i pretty much have the same sort of feelings as she does with her video but um yeah i'm excited for this box i love everything about this box i'm excited to really try out this oil because this oil smells like bomb this oil is cool pineapple we love it um so definitely i will start on monday using it on my cuticles um you guys know i have been wearing falsies which are basically press-ons i've been wearing press-ons um with actual nail glue of course and i've been enjoying wearing them but i do actually miss my nails my nails were originally long um and then i chopped them off because i got sick of covid and going to nail salons was not gonna happen for me so i chopped them off and putting on press-ons and i love these press-ons but um I'm, I'm getting to the point of I'm sick of cutting my actual nail every time I have to put on new press-ons because my nails do grow fast. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do as far as my nails. I'm going to continue with the press-ons until I run out and then go back to growing my nails out. But I want to make sure that the foundation, my cuticles are on point and thus I'm going to be using that. I cannot wait for that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go. I highly suggest you guys check out the Delala box. It's amazing. It's amazing. I'm, I can't. There's just so much to say that I, I love it so much and I highly, highly suggest it. So if you haven't already do so and if you have continue to support and i get this question asked so many times from you guys i do not make any commission whatsoever for um getting the grace and delilah box for talking about the company none whatsoever i do this because i absolutely support everything that taylor is doing i love what she's doing i love books so i mean that's another reason why and um i truly believe that this is something that can help a lot of women even if you're not getting it for yourself get it for your mother your cousin your sister your brother not your brother that didn't make sense <laughs> your niece your daughters um gifted to someone in your church um share the news with someone that you know or on instagram at least um definitely 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 support taylor and everything that she's doing with the ministry and um yeah i'm just i'm blessed and very grateful that she continues to send these boxes to me it truly means the world because you guys know i get so like excited about unboxing i think the biggest things for me outside of the books of course are the little the little pins okay this i don't even know how many pins i own right now from her and i'm actually on the verge of ordering from her website i want to order some cards some game cards that she has um, it's a Christian game card and then I also want to order specifically two of her pens that she has that are floral based so there may be a haul coming I'm gonna say within the next three months I'm putting it out there in the atmosphere so expect a haul in the next three months it might be a small haul or it might be a big haul hopefully it's a small haul but if it's a big haul you can't blame me not at all I don't say blame for that but um yeah that is it for this video so I will see you guys in the next one bye